Welcome back, Quick Base Junkie. I've had a lot of requests for this tutorial on using icons to draw focus and drive action. Red, yellow, or green icons used for fields like project status bring the user's attention to where action is needed. Plus, they make your Quick Base look ultra cool. And it's not just for status. I'll share examples with emojis and logos as well. To get started, we'll first need to identify the trigger field. This is a multiple choice field like project status. Then we'll need to select our icons and gather their URLs. Last, we'll put it together using the case function combined with simple HTML and rich text formula field. Let's dive in. For this tutorial, I've created just a very basic quick base. What I've done here is just created a status field, and the status field has statuses such as not started, on track, and canceled. Now what I'd like is for an icon to appear based on each of these statuses. To do that, I'm going to add a new field. Let's go ahead and just call that icon. Now the field type here is going to be a formula rich text field. This will allow us to enter the HTML that will make the magic happen. First I'm going to go ahead and edit the properties of our status field so I can copy each of our statuses. And then I will go into our new icon field and paste those statuses. The formula that we're going to use here in order to generate the icons for each of these statuses is called case. What case allows us to do is to set which icon will be associated to each of these statuses based on whichever one is selected in our field. So that field was called status. So when status is equal to not started, we want to show one icon. When it's on track, we want to show another icon, at risk, etc. For each of these statuses, we'll need to enclose them in quotations so that it's recognized as text. And then we'll put a comma in here for what's going to happen for each of those statuses. Now here's where the icons come into play. So what we'll need to do is identify the URL code that will point the quick base to that status icon. Now these do all have to be within a URL, so stored on the internet somewhere. They can be in quick base, they could be on your website or somewhere else. What quick base has for us is essentially a library of URLs that we can use. I've included the link to get to that library below. So I'll open that library now. Here's the library of all the icons. Now what I'm going to suggest is for this example, we use the 24 by 24, these are pixels, icons. For our not started status, I'm going to use a blue icon, so I'm just going to search for blue. And in this case, I want to use the blue rectangle. So I'll just copy that URL, jump back to my quick base field, Paste that in here. Don't worry about the warnings right now. We'll just uh, get all the URLs added. The next is on track, so I'm going to make that green. And I'm going to use the circle icon here. I do recommend using different shapes if you are going with the statuses. Just in case any of your users are colorblind, I worked with a vice president who was colorblind, and it was really helpful for him to have statuses in different shapes that allowed him to understand a little bit better what was happening. So there's the red one for at risk. Now we've got, oh sorry, I want red for the on hold. Just shift that over. For at risk, we're going to do yellow. Here we go. Grab that yellow icon, paste it in, and then for canceled, let's do gray. Uh, 
and paste that in. Okay, now I'm getting started with the HTML. So what we'll need to do is begin again with the quotation so it recognizes it as text, but we're gonna enclose the image tag. I say source, SRC is equal to, we're gonna put another quotation in here and give it our length, end with a quotation, end with closing out that tag. Now you'll notice that something funny is happening here where it still doesn't recognizing the full URL. What we need to do because we've got quotations inside of quotations is put a backslash in front of each of these quotations that are inside of our URL tag. And we're gonna end that with a quotation to close out the text and a comma. I'll include all of these in the text below so that way you can easily copy them into your QuickBase. So I'm just gonna repeat this pattern so I'll just copy, paste, 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 and here at the end as well, copy, copy, and paste, 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 paste. And I'll just need to close that out, remove this one and add it up here. So here's our completed URL formula that includes the HTML to link to each of these icons. Save. Let's go back to our form. Now if we choose not started, we get that blue square on track. We get the green circle at risk. We get the yellow triangle and on hold, we get the red sort of diamond, and then canceled, we'll get that gray square. Simple enough. Now there are other examples that you can use with this, and so I've got one here for you around sentiment. Instead of using icons for the sentiment, you might have a positive sentiment, the little happy emoji, a neutral sentiment mm, with a so-so emoji, and our negative sentiment with our sad emoji. Another example I've prepared for you is uh, using logos. So if you'd like to use logos, if you work with different client accounts, maybe you have a list of companies that might be on each record. In this case, I've used a number of different car brands. Um, so we've got BMW, Infinity, Lexus, so on. You notice these were not obtained from the QuickBase library. I stored these in another table. You can see here my images table. Within the QuickBase itself, I've got some of my QuickBase Junkie logos in there, but I stored these in the QuickBase themselves so I was able to pull the URL from the QuickBase here onto, jump back to company, onto the logo form here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here, very similar to the one we were just looking at, we've got the formula of case now with our company field and then the different variations and the different URLs that go to each of those icons, or in this case, logos. Now you may have noticed that those logos were rather large. You might not want them to show up that large, especially on your reports. You know, it will expand the height of your report rows to make room for those icons so you might not want them as large. Now if we want to change that it's pretty easy to do. I'll show you how. Uh, I'll show you a neat little trick that uh, QuickBase recently added. I can do a control find or sorry control F or command F if you're on a Mac and here I can search. Let's say I want to search for the end element because I need to put in my size just before that end element. Now if I find all, you see now I've got all of them selected. So I can actually edit in, what is this, six places simultaneously. So I'm going to add here, just inside of that um, in tag, let's do with. With equals, and we need a backslash quote, 75, this is going to be 75 pixels, backslash quote, to make the width 
75 pixels wide. It will correspondingly adjust the height as well. So I don't need to also put the height in. And save. Now when I look at that logo, it's much smaller and won't affect my reports as much. So there you have it, status icons, as well as how to add other images such as company logos or emojis to your QuickBase to add more engagement and draw that focus and attention to things that need to have action taken. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.